the Pulse Survey report is a huge part of your Office Vibe reporting. This is where you will see all your team's current and past responses to the Office Vibe Pulse Survey questions. And there are two ways that you can access this Pulse Survey report. The first is when you go into your team hub, and then you can access the report by clicking on View Complete Report. The other way to access it would be from Surveys, and then you click into Pulse Survey, and then you can choose which team you wish to look at, as well as the chosen time frame using the first two drop downs. So you can access any team you manage or are given visibility to by selecting them there. So let's dive into this first section, namely the engagement score. The first thing to keep in mind regarding your overall engagement score, it is a tool showing you how your team or company is feeling. It is a weighed 90 day average that encompasses all the scores from all your members across the 10 key metrics listed here below. The engagement score will only display the current score out of 10 refreshed daily, which will fluctuate as employees answer new surveys. While the score itself is a great indicator of how things are going, a best practice would be to look at the variation of scores over time. You can hover over the graph and you can see what score was listed at another time. You can also set highlights for your team, in this case, right below the graph. You can enter the details and the date, and this will allow you to see changes happening as a result of certain moments. And you can also see which metrics have fluctuated the most below the 10 key metrics. Now looking at the 10 key metrics will help you break down by topic to help you understand and analyze the results. All the metrics are defined both here when you hover over the question mark next to the metric. So you can choose to pin any of the metrics you'd like to focus on and track at the top of the report. In this case, we have these two right here. We can always change this. In this case, let's say I want to focus on alignment and recognition. So these can be top of mind for you. So the first indicator of each metric's health is the color. If the metric score is above six, it will be green and anything 5.9 or below will be red. You will also see a red or green arrow representing the variation for that metric over the selected period. Let's dive into one of these metrics. Uh, let's say, for instance, the relationship with the manager. Each metric is broken down into either two or three submetrics. So in this case, this metric is broken down into collaboration with the manager, trust with the manager, and communication with the manager. And you can see how each submetric has fluctuated compared to the mean score in the graph by clicking on it. From here, you can also access the questions related to the submetric just to see which questions were affecting the score.